Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense, in today's podcast we will discuss about, Ukraine has managed to fend off Russia's formidable air force with its air defense systems, but dwindling stocks raise concerns that Russia could exploit this vulnerability. Experts caution that such a scenario could lead to devastating consequences, potentially hastening the end of the conflict. Despite Ukraine's disadvantage in air power, its air defenses have largely kept Russian aircraft at bay since the invasion began in February 2022. These defenses have forced Russian jets to mostly remain within their own airspace, limiting the damage caused by missile and bomb launches. Additionally, Ukrainian defenses have successfully downed several jets that ventured into range, showcasing their effectiveness. Frederick Mertens from the Hague Center for Strategic Studies lauds Ukrainian air defenses as a significant achievement of the war, noting that without them, Ukraine might have faced defeat early on. He describes Ukraine's control of its airspace as a crucial strategic advantage, preventing Russian aircraft from freely operating over its territory. However, sustaining this success poses challenges. A senior U.S. defense official warns of a critical shortage of air defense interceptors in Ukraine, which could leave cities, infrastructure, and troops vulnerable to missile attacks. Without replenishment, Ukraine's air defenses may only last until March, according to U.S. officials. Recent developments suggest that Russia is making strategic gains in some frontline areas, such as Avdiivka, where its combined air and ground forces have weakened Ukrainian positions. Moreover, Russia's efforts to deplete Ukraine's ammunition stockpile could further exacerbate the situation, especially as aid from some quarters faces obstacles. Justin Bronk of the Royal United Services Institute explains that while Ukraine's use of surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, has hindered Russia's air dominance, a shortage of air defense systems increases the risk of Russian Air Force involvement in battlefield operations. This could enable Russia to conduct targeted strikes on Ukrainian positions, potentially altering the course of the war. Bronk emphasizes the importance of maintaining air defense coverage to prevent a swift Ukrainian defeat. Without sustained protection, Ukraine could quickly lose ground, allowing the Russian air force to operate more freely and target critical assets with impunity. He concludes that while the Russian air force may currently have limited impact, its significance could increase if Ukraine's SAMs become depleted. So friends, this was today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. Do subscribe our channel and let us know about your opinion in the comment box. Thank you for listening.